What's going on guys? I am back with another video and today we're taking a look at a case from Rosewill. This is the Cullinan. Now I know this case has been out for a couple months now, but they actually released two new SKUs for this case, which is the reason I wanted to uh, talk about it a little bit. So previously you could only get this case with blue LED fans, but they recently released uh, two new versions, one with red LED fans and one with white LED fans. Now the white one is the version that I have here today. I've never actually built in this case, so I wanted to take a look at it and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do here now. So let's just start at the front. So. You'll notice there's pretty much glass everywhere on this case. So on the uh, front panel, on both side panels, you've got tempered glass. It's uh, tinted all around. So get your microfiber cloth ready because uh, you're going to need it. It does have this kind of a uh, fractal like design on the uh, front of the case with the uh, kind of the vents going down the side of both uh, panels here. Uh, not complaining. I actually think that looks pretty nice. So you'll get your airflow from the uh, side of the case here. And underneath that, you've got uh, these three pre-installed uh, 120 millimeter fans. So again, these light up in white. So when you have the case turned on, it's going to give you this nice, like subtle white glow through the uh, glass there on the front. And then up top, you've got your uh, IO. So on the left side, you've got a, a fan controller. Um, you've got your microphone and headphone jacks, your power and reset, and then for USB ports there. So if we pop this front cover off, the first thing you'll notice is this huge magnetic dust filter that covers the uh, three fans here. And then underneath that, of course, are the uh, LED fans. So you can actually fit three 120 millimeter fans in this uh, case at the front or 240 millimeter fans. You can also run up to a 360 millimeter radiator up here uh, if you're into the uh, water cooling thing. Also on the top of the case, you've got uh, plenty of cooling options as well. So uh, again, you'll have, uh, you have another magnetic dust filter, which can be uh, removed if you want. Uh, and here you can install 320 millimeter fans or up to 240 millimeter, or you can do up to a 360 millimeter radiator. So you've actually got plenty of water cooling support for a uh, mid tower case, which is nice. And then at the back of the case, you've got a 120 millimeter fan that comes pre-installed. Um, you can install a 140 millimeter fan in its place or up to a, a equivalent uh, radiator back there. And then right below that, you've got your, your expansion slots. There's uh, seven of them and then a bottom mounted power supply. Uh, right underneath the power supply is a removable dust filter. So that's nice. We've got dust filters on dust filters. So uh, that shouldn't be an issue for this case. Now it was kind of hard to uh, capture this case on video because you've got tempered glass all over and that means reflections upon reflections and fingerprints and all that kind of stuff. So if we just take a look on the left side here, you do have thumb screws holding on the uh, tempered glass side panel to the case. Not really a fan of this mounting mechanism because uh, it means you're going to get fingerprints everywhere every single time you handle the case, which is kind of annoying. So you got to keep that uh, microfiber cloth nearby. But if we take it off, you can see the main compartment here is actually pretty simple. It's uh, there's not much here. It's just kind of a big open area. So you've got your uh, CPU cutout. You've got a uh, kind of like a cable cover, kind of like the S340 on the uh, right side here. Um, no rubber grommets because you've got that, which is, uh, eh, I like rubber grommets, but it's whatever. And then you've got a PSU shroud here down at the bottom with one large cutout. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, main part of the compartment there. You can see the fans and all that kind of stuff in there. So behind the motherboard tray, we got a little bit more going on. So we've got uh, plenty of storage here. There are three two and a half inch mounts here on the back. A small little drive cage down at the bottom for your three and a half inch drives. You've got a, uh, your bottom compartment there for your PSU. You do see some cutouts for your uh, cables to route through. And then kind of this uh, recessed area on the uh, far left side where your cables can come through as well or kind of just uh, hang out or tuck away. Now one thing I did notice right off the bat is there's not a lot of room behind the motherboard tray for uh, tucking in your cables. So cable management may be an issue here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, and I almost forgot there is a fan controller here towards the top. I think you can install up to five or six fans, something like that. All right, and that's pretty much a quick tour of the case. Let's go ahead and throw a build in it and uh, get a feel for how it is to uh, put together a rig in this case.
All right, guys, and this is pretty much, uh, this is it. Not bad, right? So this is my uh, main workstation. I decided to go ahead and uh, throw in this case here. And I actually think it looks pretty clean. The uh, main compartment here looks pretty tidy. Nothing crazy standing out. All the cables are uh, fairly managed here. I didn't really like the cover too much. It was kind of a pain to uh, work with with my uh, stiff cables, but I got it working. Uh, one other thing to mention is I guess these little ridges on that uh, cable cover are for uh, maybe holding up your GPU to prevent uh, GPU sag or something like that. I kind of mounted the PCB in between the ridges there as that's the only way it would really fit. So I think that's what it's for, but uh, I'm not really sure. Also no clearance issues. Uh, I think you can fit up to a 180 millimeter a CPU cooler in this case. So my uh, Dark Rock TF had no issues. For the uh, GPU, uh, I think it's uh, up to 420 millimeters. So uh, other than the ridge thing, again, no issues with the uh, GPU clearance here. Now, taking a look at the back side of the case, it was a little bit more tricky to deal with. Uh, as I predicted, cable management uh, definitely was an issue. There is a, a definite lack of space behind the motherboard tray. Also, the uh, couple of Velcro straps that they give you aren't actually big enough or long enough to pass through both uh, cable tie hooks. I don't really get that. So uh, I did provide my own since they came with my PSU, but uh, that's kind of weird. So you'll either have to uh, provide your own Velcro straps or use the included zip ties if you want to do any uh, real cable management. But nonetheless, I did get it in there. I did have to pretty much tuck everything over on the left side there since there wasn't any space if you routed the uh, cables through the uh, cutouts there. Um, I also kind of just threw in any extra or access cables down at the uh, bottom of the case behind the power supply and the uh, three and a half inch drive cage. Also, one other thing to mention is that when you're messing with the fan controller, which I do have connected via Molex, I hate Molex. One thing to note is I only got LEDs on the fans to work when the fan controller was at the fastest speed. I wish the uh, LED lighting was separate from the actual fan speed because on the highest setting, it's actually too loud for me. So I would like to actually run it on the lowest setting and be able to see my lighting, but uh, apparently that's not possible. So I would like to see maybe some different uh, fans in here, uh, maybe some RGB fans, that way you don't have to have a bunch of different SKUs for your case. Uh, I'm not sure how that would affect their uh, kind of manufacturing cost. You know, having the option to just have RGB fans rather than having to buy or commit to one specific color would be the best option. So overall though, uh, I think the case is pretty legit. Um, as far as build quality goes, you know, it's not super thick, steel. Uh, it's very far away from like an Inwin 303 in terms of uh, thickness. But overall, I don't think most people will have an issue with it. You can make a pretty clean build in the case. I think they just need to uh, give us more cable management space and maybe some RGB fans. Really, that's all you could ask for in this case, I think. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this case down in the comments below. I think this is going for like 110 bucks right now. Um, do you guys think this is a, a good price for a case like this? considering its uh, feature set. Let me know down below. Like this video if you like this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Until next time, see ya.